Hey guys, <clears throat> so I picked up this Adept uh, Rasp tank. So it's a Raspberry Pi powered tank. It's basically this robot powered tank you see here. It has like a little grabber robot arm. Um, you know, it has tracks on it and you know, it has lights uh, and uh, you know, uh, proximity sensors, uh, a camera, and uh, you know, all, all this great stuff. So in, anyways, we're gonna show you what actually comes in the box today. So this is the unboxing video, not the assembly video. The assembly video where I put it together and demo it, that, that's gonna be, uh, that's coming up next, but that's gonna take me a, a, f a fair amount of time to actually do. That's gonna be a, a much longer video coming up. So today, all we're, all we're gonna do is just show you what comes in the box and, and just give you an idea what it, what comes with it. So we're gonna post this video first, then coming up in the near future, we're gonna be posting the second video where we actually put this together. We're gonna show you how we put it together. I'm gonna record every step of the process putting it together in the next video. So stay tuned for that, hit the subscribe button, all that stuff. And right now, let's open this thing up and see what's inside. So I have a few Raspberry Pis on hand and uh, doing a terrible job at opening this. I have a few Raspberry Pis on hand, but none that are uh, designated for use with this. So I'm gonna have to pick one up. But anyways, let's take a look at all the things in here. So yeah, it gives us a little thank you thing. And I believe you would scan this, all right, warranty card. Okay, anyways, <clears throat> um, comes with a few connector cables. We're gonna see what we use those for coming up. Um, couple motors, some lights, uh, a little thing to neaten up your cables, a ribbon that I don't know if it actually has a purpose. Um, let's see, so we have a board here. This is this looks like our robot controller board. Now, it would be wrong of me not to put this out of the packaging and show you what it looks like. I'm gonna cut it this way, even though you should. It feels like it's gonna be easier to just cut it this way. I'm gonna be putting this together soon enough anyways. So, there we go. Now, this is the robot board. All right, so you, you got a switch and a, a USB plug. I'm betting this is where you power it from, but um, you're, you're gonna be connecting all of these. Uh, and I haven't gone through the instructions yet, but based on the previous robot I put together, we're gonna be connecting a whole bunch of cables to each of these, which will connect to, uh, um, let's see, these are probably gonna connect to all of the motors, all the servos, right? And then these are gonna connect to, um, you know, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. In, anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll find out when we put this together. We're gonna put this whole thing together and get it up and running in the next video. So for now, we're just gonna go through this stuff, right? All right, so more servo motors. I'm gonna leave this in the package for now as a ton of little parts and no need to take it out now. You kind of get the idea of what it looks like. Yet another servo, another servo, another servo, and yet another servo. Now, <clears throat> may seem like a lot of servo motors, but um, compared to the last thing that, it, compared to the, the the robot dog that I put together in a previous video, this is not a lot. The robot dog included quite a few servos, like one, like two per joint. So there's at least eight servos there and then one for the head. Um, this has fewer servos. That's actually pretty close to the same number. It's, it's not that far off actually. All right, so here we go. I feel like I should open this up. One of the more interesting things to look at in here. Um, very common component used with Raspberry Pis. So there we go. Um, ultrasonic uh, proximity sensor. So you can tell how close you are to something. You have two of them, so you can pretty much, uh, you know, it helps you navigate and stuff. So, and uh, this, this has the ability to do all kinds of neat things like follow lines and stuff. I'm not sure if the intelligence for that um, like the tank can actually follow a line that you put on the ground. And I'm not sure if that's based off of uh, this or off of the camera. But in any case, we will probably be looking into that in the future. And we'll probably look at the code for it and stuff too eventually. All right, yet another board tracking module. Okay, this I guess would be the tracking module. Um, what else do we have in here? This comes with... Uh, couple batteries, which is nice. The robot dog we got, not from the same company, but we've got, we put together a robot dog in a previous video. Um, it did not come with batteries and we had to order them off of eBay. So these, uh, this came with, uh, comes with batteries, which is pretty nice. And it comes with tracks. Yeah, so batteries included. Um, so tracks, tracks are really cool. I, I think this, this is cooler than the robot dog. I've been looking about like hexapods and other neato 
robots that you can buy two robot kits and um i may or may not put one of those together at some point in the future um anyways let's uh let's take a look at this all right so this is our camera all right so this should probably be a standard raspberry pi camera i'm betting um what do we have yeah raspberry pi camera revision 1.3 so this is a standard raspberry pi camera almost the exact same thing if not the exact same thing that you would get if you were to just buy this um you know from where, wherever the, the, just the like the official raspberry pi camera like it's branded raspberry pi camera so there you go um yeah more cardboard and stuff so we have this huge pack of screws i should open this up just to show you what's in here all right there we go a ton of different screws and yeah you're gonna have to use the right ones in the right circumstances follow the instructions carefully look there are tons of screws of all different sizes and standoffs and yeah there's these nice big things here so a lot of big stuff now we also have uh we have this battery compartment thing that uh will be built into the tank also to hold the batteries comes with a nice little tool for putting things together. That's, that's a nice touch there. Um, comes with a couple screwdrivers, so we may not even need any external tools, whether or not we use them or not, that's another story. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do it with the tools that they provide you, because that, that's pretty nice that they give you that. Um, now it comes with these, comes with these, and uh, and a bunch of like cutout parts. Now this is these are not wood, this is actually acrylic. You can see on the edges here. But let me see if I can actually peel a little bit off so you can kind of see. This actually took me a while to peel off on the pre This is almost the same as the, the previous robot that I put together. But, um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so, so, it's very similar. But see how shiny that is? See, that's, that's nice, shiny acrylic. So it, it's not, um, yeah, it, it's not like cardboard or wood or something anyways we got you know we have a bunch of different joints and gears and parts and stuff which is all great so these are going to be for the tracks what else do we got yeah more more parts and just more of this stuff and that is basically everything that we have here so we're going to have to so that's that's what's what you get in the kit this is pretty much all of it um so hopefully uh yeah, hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you get when you order this kit. Now, stay tuned for the next video where we actually, uh, you know, where we, we actually um, put this together and demo the, the robot tank. So coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon so YouTube actually notifies you when we come out with a new video. You might want to check out some of the other stuff we've already posted. We've posted a lot of robot um, robot videos, Raspberry Pi videos, a lot of tech stuff in general. We cover like, you know, coding, servers, uh, electronics, 3D printing, um, networking, all sorts of great uh, tech related stuff you're not going to want to miss. So do hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below if you if you know something I don't know or any questions, criticisms, comments, whatever you want to say, I do want to hear it. So leave a comment down below. You might want to give us a thumbs up. And um, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time.